Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name's Boogie Bentley. He's Coach Jay. We're back with another episode of the Film Breakdown series. Uh, if it's your first time ever watching one of the Film Breakdowns, kind of took a, a little bit of a break here. Coach Jay's been busy. He's had some stuff going on. I've been busy, chaotic. Uh, but we're back. Going to try to do a couple of these, and we'll drop them sporadically. We usually drop them on Sundays, but I may pick some other days to do that. But if it's your first time watching a Film Breakdown, Coach Jay actually coaches football out on the West Coast. Uh, he's kind enough to come on here and break down some film. We're always going to do Tennessee Targets. Uh, and the guy we're going to talk about today is Laganza Shady Hayward, 6'1", 196, out of Lyons, Georgia. Uh, he's a four-star prospect, but w- correct me if I'm wrong, Coach Jay, when Shady came on the show, didn't he have the same mindset as Jalen Matthews? Jalen Matthews calls himself the number one offensive tackle in the country, and I think Shady Hayward says he's the best safety in the country. Very much so. Very similar mindsets. Uh Look, these these kids, all these recruits that Heupel's bringing in, these young men are fitting a certain mold, right? This culture mold. It's the big buzzword we always talk about that we are going to beat to death as long as Heupel is probably sitting in, a, in his chair over there on Rocky Top in the head coach's room uh, looking over things. There is a certain kind of mold that he wants these kids to fit into. Uh, highly competitive kids, high IQ football players, a lot of self-belief uh competitors and just flat out good dudes man good human beings uh impressive impressive that character it's a easy buzzword to say but it's it's harder to stick to it and live by it and this coaching staff has has shown that it means everything to them and they will recruit as such yeah we kind of talked about it off air i think after we had jamal wallace on the show and they're always yes sir no sir you know and it's like hey Mm-hmm. He's coach, and I'm Boogie. It, it's cool, but it's like it's almost – I think we're kind of breaking Jamal of that habit. I think Jamal, like, he's part of the Talking Balls family now. Uh, oh, but yeah. They're always so respectful. You can just see it, man. Like you said, <clears throat> good kids. I love Shady Hayward's film. I love – when I watched it, uh, getting ready for him to come on the show, man, he's violent. That's that's one of the things that sticks out, but he's also athletic. He, he'll play on offense, play on defense, play on special teams. Reminds you of that Boo Carter type of player, a guy that can – do anything, play anywhere, but Tennessee recruiting him to play on the back end. Now, he was in town March the 23rd, visited Knoxville. I love the quote. Right out right out of the visit, he says, Knoxville never fails. He said just getting to see Coach Banks, Coach Martinez, Coach Heupel in their natural environment uh, and what they are like on an everyday basis. And, you know, I think he kind of talked about that too. By the way, I keep saying when he came on the show, if you didn't see that, go back and give it a watch. You can look under the live tab. Uh, we interviewed Shady Hayward. Had a great time, man. He was such a good, yeah. good guest, uh, good kid. Uh, but go back and give that a watch. VolQuest put it out, said that Tennessee nailed it with that visit when he was in town on the 23rd, and then that they need to carry that into the official visits. He's going to visit Florida State on May the 31st, USC June the 7th, Alabama the 14th, and Tennessee on June the 21st. But anybody that's asking, and I almost made a video on this but did not do it, anybody that's asking where Tennessee is at with this commitment, if they don't believe that Tennessee is in this thing, on three recruits, five-star flex, interviewed him, uh, just recently, as of the time of this recording, let's take a listen when Shady Hayward was asked point blank. Hey, so look, if you had the right now, would you be able to name a leader in your recruitment? Oh, most definitely Tennessee. Tennessee is the leader. All right. So, not even a question, Coach Jay. Most definitely <laughs> Tennessee is the leader. But we're going to get into some film breakdown. Coach Jay is going to take us through it here. Uh, give us your overall thoughts, just what you see in his game after uh, doing all your homework. Uh, yeah, a lot of things. A, film. Go watch this guy's film, man. Like Boogie said, this film was a absolute joy to watch. Uh, you know, six foot one. He's well put together, kid. Two-way player. Uh, could prob- pro- Not probably could play offense at the next level if he wanted to. Uh, great hands, several uh, clips where he just Randy Moss is someone. Great nose for the football, uh, big hitter. High football IQ. Another quality that stuck out to me is he's devious. He's a little devious on the football field, Boogie. He'll he'll set traps almost like a good boxer or a fighter will set traps for someone. And I really, really like when a DB is smart enough to set traps. It really gives me Ed Reed vibes uh, when you see that out of a DB. So, uh, and, and great wingspan as well. That, that's the other thing I'll say. A lot of tools that you can't teach, 
but a kid who loves to hit. Love, 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 loves to hit. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to drop into the film breakdown. This is uh, from his huddle film, third season. All right, let's take it. Man, we got it's like riding a bicycle, Coach. Been there a minute. Let's jump back on the bicycle and let's take off play 06. You got it. We're not going to get into this play very much uh, when I let Boogie let it go. It's just going to be a simple kickoff return. I don't give you many of his offense plays. As a matter of fact, I don't think we are going to look at any today. But I just kind of wanted to show you his open field athleticism with the ball in his hands. Uh, really, really good in-game speed. Boogie, you can go ahead and let, her, let it go, and we'll watch uh, how dynamite he is. A kid that I fully expect to contribute is a true freshman. As we see breaking a tackle there, a uh, really strong kid, a uh, nice little hurdle up top, just good, good in-game speed, right? Really, really good in-game speed. We see he has got a good acumen, is able to follow his blockers, uh, able to jut out, hit the old L1 button as you were, and uh, take it to the house. I wonder if Tennessee will look to utilize him in special teams because he does play okay. offense, defense, special teams. Be interesting to see. Uh, if they go that route. All right, play 23. Yeah, uh, obviously right here, um, had a little bit of window dressing uh, right off the top. We had a single wing, double tight aces. Uh, Hayward is that safety that circled at the top of the screen here, uh, just above that referee. Um, so what's going to happen here is the, um, the Z wide receiver that's in tight next to the tight end on the opposite side of the field is going to leak out. Uh, for a post, uh, Hayward's going to kind of drop back here. Boogie, if you can kind of give me a couple couple seconds of that drop back. I just want to get those hips opening and maybe that shuffle step wall off. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that beautiful wall off right here. He's taking away the post from that X wide receiver over the top of his head to the top side of the screen. Uh, that's a nice, nice wall off. He's going to keep settling deep into his zone. A lot of times linebackers and safeties alike won't settle deep enough into their zone when there's crossing routes going on underneath. Uh, Shady really does a good job of getting that deep and scraping to where he can come up and make a play. Boogie, if you want to take us a couple seconds further and watch him settle in and look at those eyes too, as he starts to scrape a little further downfield right now, he sees the quarterback's balls out. All right. Now it's a great pause point, right? He's seen it. He's got to cover ground right now. And think about it, guys. This football is in the air right now. And we all know how quick uh, a ball travels in the air, right? You're not going to outrun a ball in the air with your feet. But watch this closing speed because the idea is to meet the ball, the wide receiver at the same time the ball meets him. So we can jar it out. And let's take a look at this kid hit, man. He can lay the smash down on a player pretty <laughs> Uh, just absolutely blew him up. I, I do have one uh, bone to pick with uh, Mr. Hayward here. Uh, just bring your arms with you on that tackle. That's beautiful, but you're all going to hear it from Coach Jay from time to time. Uh, knees to nuts, ass down, head up, wrap up, hat on the ball. Gets the hat on the ball. Just bring those arms with you and complete that kill shot. But a beautiful kill shot nonetheless. Uh, closing speed is amazing on this kid and a very, very high IQ play. Uh, when you can stop two plays. Uh, after this, we got a kickoff play. And if you'll notice here, it's a little bit of trickeration on the field. Uh, the returner to the top of the screen is throwing back uh, to the other returner at the bottom of the screen who's about to get the ball. Uh, we see Mr. Hayward circled at the bottom of the screen, and uh, he's going to close his territory in a hurry. And uh, Boogie, how did he? How did how did Mr. Hayward put this the other night? He said something about what he liked to do to people and what kind of reaction he liked to get. Like it's kind of a tie. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because when you hit somebody, like the feeling of knowing you hit them in front of their family and they just <laughs> laid them out, you should be like, oh yeah. <laughs> This poor kid's family, Boogie. Oh, man. This poor kid's family. This Talk about when, when trick plays go wrong. Roll the tape. This poor kid's family. Mm. <laughs> Good. You, you know the thing about it is, though, like mm. these are two hits back-to-back. -back. His entire oh. film is full 
of these hits. We, it, funny enough, we skipped over a, a hit like this to get to this play. In between the previous play and this play, there was a gigantic hit. It, it, his film is riddled with these kind of plays, and that. Uh, was giving Coach Jay what he wanted. Knees to nuts, ass down, head up, wrap up, hat on the ball. Beautiful job. Beautiful I ball. love our, our faces in that clip because <laughs> I, that is not where I thought that conversation was going. I thought he was just going to say, I like to hit somebody. But no, he has to take it to the serial killer level of doing it in front of their family. All right, <laughs> moving right along. we got a few more plays we're going to take a look at here. Uh, we would appreciate you it if you guys in the chat would smash the thumbs up. Uh, it does help the video. Also, again, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and click that bell for notifications. Uh, we got a live film breakdown coming up next Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Coach Jay versus Rocky Top Tom. Tom's the offensive line coach. He's going to be breaking down the offensive line. Coach Jay's got the world championship right there over his shoulder. He's going to be defending that. He'll be breaking down a defensive lineman. That's going to be coming up Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss it. We're also working on some more interviews and some fun stuff. Some fun stuff with Class of 25 prospects to make sure you guys are dialed in. But let's jump right back into the breakdown. Coach Jay, 233. Sure thing. Double tight, single wing, split black backs versus cover two. Um, offense is going to run a, a play action bootleg off off the veer here. Uh, Hayward's going to be that safety uh, towards the bottom of the screen here, uh, right to the right of the referee. Uh, the play's going to start running. Go ahead and pause it when uh, he circled. Uh, boogie would be a good pause point here. We just see him following the flat, right? Covering the flat. And we see here, uh, we've gotten double posts behind him. Uh, you see the wide receiver right where the referee is at the middle of the field. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. See how Hayward has squared his shoulders here. He's looking at the quarterback. And what he sees that quarterback doing, it's just great vision and IQ on this play, is he sees that quarterback has decided to throw back to that post that is where the wide receiver is next to the referee. Okay, so, and just FYI, guys, uh, that was the fullback that leaked out to the flat that he's guarding right now, and the tight end on the back side of the field that's come all the way over uh, in double tight. So think of the field vision. He was the safety on the opposite side of the field, and not only is he covering the flat right now, but his vision is picking up that post over the middle of the field. Uh, so when he recognizes the quarterback doing that, he's going to go ahead and pick up that backside tight end and check out the adjustment, the hips, the angle of the hips on this pick. Let's take a look at it, Boogie. This is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful play by Hayward. Look at that. Takes a perfect offshoot back angle. That's what I mean by the adjustment and the angle of his hips when he makes the adjustment. So he, you know, let's watch him. Read step, pop, 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 flat, flat, flat. Right here, recognition, opens hips, pulls back. Mm. So I'm, trying to, I'm trying to play. learn something myself here as we watch yeah. the play. Because I'm sure. looking him back here. Let's see. Let's go back. Yeah. Is he the only Good. safety? Is that, that may be what confused me here. Uh, there is, no, there is another safety. Okay, yeah, he's right here. Yeah, right yeah, here. right so split there. Safety. It's like I'm thinking. Yep. Th this is Too my high. dumb NCAA footballist. He needs to be covering the deep part of the field. Is he just? Is he? So is he just so athletic? So they leak out the tight end or the fullback, and he's like, mm -hmm. like. But then, like you said, just the vision to see the guy coming. The vision. Him. Yeah. This so kid's open. This kid's open. So he's gonna make a play here. But correct. I'm just. So I'm just trying to in my dumb football fan brain recognize what his actual assignment is versus what right. he's actually doing on the field. It's most likely, most likely uh, just cover two boogie right here is what his responsibility is. Uh, he comes out to flat and kind of over adjust in my opinion. Now I could be wrong. They could have a different coverage on here. That's the thing. Uh, but his read is just so smart. Um, I'm guessing the backside cornerback had the most outside um, flanker on the left side of the field, the top side of the field. The safety uh, probably had that cover two against that post. 
in my opinion, uh, shaded a little too high over. Uh, but once again, I'm kind of guessing on the coverage that they were in here, but it appears to be covered too. He's just floating up to cover that flat. As you see, uh, his help, his linebacker is beat right here, right? If that ball's coming out right now and on that fullback shoulder, uh, put your mouse where that fullback is, where the flat is right now, Boogie. If that hits him on the shoulder, uh, that guy's got a, a head of steam. He's running up. So that's a problem right now. Uh, the quarterback sees the help coming from Hayward right now and wisely tries to hit that trailing uh, back shoulder post. In my opinion, he should pump fake it probably and hit, hit the postman trailing uh, the middle post. Uh, on the outside. But uh, once again, if we ever get to talk to Mr. Hayward, we can ask him uh, what the coverage was here. But my guess is cover two. See, I'm proud of myself because I think we're on the same wavelength yeah. there. I think oh, yeah, 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 two, yeah. And he's he's yeah. he's more athletic. He's quicker, faster, stronger than everybody else on the field. So he cheats down because this guy's open in the flat and then he oh, sure. releases back and goes and makes a play. Just shows his athleticism. Yeah. And, and he the other thing he could have been doing was setting a trap for that post. Uh, you mm. see uh, multiple traps that he sets throughout this film. We'll talk about one in just a moment. All right, rolling right along to 248. Uh, all right. Okay, Can I make a note, huddle, huddle film, high school high okay, school yeah. coaches, high school coaches, when you're putting your film together for huddle, circle the player before the snap of the ball. It would make my, my job so much. I like to see where the player's at and then – Coach Jay can walk, walk us through the formation, what we see. Uh, they're waiting until you get into the play, and that's that's my complaint for today. But uh, anyway, go Amen. ahead. Amen. <laughs> I'll help you out where he is anyway, so we're all good here. <clears throat> um, first of all, check it out, Boogie. We got the Boogie defense, 4-3 defense, 4-3 Love defense. It. Ready? Love it. Oh, no. Oh, the belt. Oh, my gosh. Am I going to have to edit that out? We need a championship belt holder. Is what we need. I do. I do. We'll look into one. All right. I'll be right back, baby. You stay put. Um, okay. So right here. Uh, yeah. Four, three defense versus trips to the top of the screen. Uh, we're going to get our bubble screen. We're all familiar with it, right? Uh, Mr. Hayward is going to be at the top of the screen. The safety that has come down, he's just inside the cornerback uh, over those trips. And right now, uh, what do we see, Boogie? We see a numbers disadvantage, don't we? Look, one, two, three wide receivers in that trips to the outside, the top of the screen, one, two, three versus two. Hayward's the more inside man there. Uh, we're going to get number six. If you can see number six, he's going to be the Y slot wide receiver, the most inside slot wide receiver, is going to try to pick up this block. Boogie, if you can just capture the first one or two steps, the first one or two seconds of this play. Okay, yeah, well, maybe just poop, a little longer. No, there we go. He turns his hip sideways and scrapes, just like a linebacker, right? You see the linebacker drills where they'll scrape one way, Scrape the other, scrape, scrape. He turns sideways, gets lateral, and scrapes upfield into this interception, makes it back shoulder. Watch this pick. On, right on the back shoulder when he picks this ball. Mm. <laughs> I mean, talk about athleticism. Talk about football IQ. Uh, just improvising, using all the tools a coach gives you right he even uses on that play if you watch it again the blocker pushes off of him and he uses his own body turning laterally to propel himself into that interception so the ability to adapt use your base level of skills that you're taught in practices in scraping to make a extremely athletic pick six touchdown this is really special stuff here from from jd hayward Going to really, really take one stuff. last look uh, at a play from Shady Hayward. Four-star safety calls himself the best safety in the country. Called mm. Tennessee the leader for his recruitment. I think he would be a big one. Uh, people people talking about, you know, upset with three stars in the secondary. Uh, Shady Hayward has something else to say about that. All right, one last play here, Coach. Yeah, we got three, three, five. Uh, Hayward's going to be that safety all the way, all the way down towards the bottom of the screen. Uh, playing kind of like a shaded stack right there over the star. Uh, 
what we're going to get here is is kind of like a flat traps, uh, but he's going to he's going to flip that trap, that flat trap. Uh, you'll see the wide receiver combination uh, that we're talking about here when I say a flat trap. Um, Boogie, if you want to go ahead and uh, play this, the quarterback's going to kind of break out of the pocket. If you can pause it when Hayward kind of hits about the 38 yard line in his drop back, I'd like to kind of talk about what we get there. Uh, we get a nice little bounce, hits that 38. Uh, now he's going to break forward on this, right? Uh, and I want everyone to check out uh, his angle as he starts to break forward. Boogie, give me a couple more seconds here. Plays. Now watch it. See, did you see how short those steps were there? It was very small. See if you can bring it back to the 38 and then capture him coming back up to the 40. See those little choppy steps? Those choppy steps. See how his body is facing the X, Y, the flats all the way to the bottom of the screen? Now he's doing this because he's being devious. He's setting up a trap. Boogie, can you put your arrow on the flat wide receiver just inside of him? Look at his angle. Now show Hayward's angle. He can come down at the flats below him to the wide receiver down, or he can take the other angle. He's got a perfect 45-degree angle either way he wants to step, but he's chop-stepping towards the bottom flat to set a trap for the quarterback to throw behind him. Devious, high football IQ. Uh, let's see how it ends, Boogie. Smart, smart, smart. And look at <laughs> he flipped them right there. Uh, can you think of another safety that that was flipping players on the field? I can. I think Eric Berry comes to my mind against South Carolina on Halloween night, flipping a, or <laughs> spinning a South Carolina player. Uh, just flips him in midair. You see the big hit there. Um, hopefully that kid's family couldn't make it that night and uh, wasn't available to witness it. Um, a really smart kid. A uh, really headsy kid. Awesome interview. I'm high on this kid's film. Uh, I don't know how to put the little Coach J tab star on this kid, but he he gets Coach J's seal of approval. This kid can play ball. Feeling confident. Tennessee in a very good spot. He called him the leader. Again, he's going to be taking official visits throughout the summer. Going to be, be a busy summer of recruiting, man. We, we're kind of – I made a video today at the time of this recording and kind of talked about that process, right? It's all about relationships. You get guys on campus in the spring. You show them your culture, your the, what the atmosphere is like on Rocky Top, and then you got to work those official visits. And you get those guys back in town over the summer. A lot of these kids are going to make decisions in June and July. We're going to have it all covered right here on the Talking Falls Network, so make sure you guys are dialed in for that. That's the wrap on four-star safety, Shady Hayward, 6-1-196 out of Georgia. Coach, if you had one little feedback, one little tip, one little coaching point for Shady Hayward, uh, what would you tell him to work on before he heads to, to Knoxville? What would I tell him to work on? Uh, just always bringing your arms with you, tackling form in general, getting a little lower through his shoot. You can always get lower, but in general, man, beautiful, beautiful foundation of fundamentals. Uh, just once again, and I know, Shady, I know when you're about to light someone up, man, you get them big eyes, you see their family watching, bring those arms with you, man. Just bring those arms with you every time. You do most of the time, so awesome work. All right, that's going to do it for this one. Got another film breakdown coming next week. Uh, you guys put in the comments, who do you want us to break down next? We got Jalen Matthews coming up next week, uh, and then we'll see where you guys want to go from there. But that is going to do it. He's Coach Jay. My name's Boogie Bentley. This is the Talking Falls Network. Go Big Orange.